Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Counter Baron, and I'm welcoming you guys back to even more of the Evil to Hell mod single player playthrough featuring the Pounding class. Now, going back, let's see. We cleared out through level 22, and showing you character stats right now alongside the inventory. As you can clearly see, here is uh, it somehow became my primary offhand and primary weapon, as you can see there. And let's see, secondary offhand, secondary weapon. We have our armory right here alongside our helm, amulet, and here are our two rings. We had a difficult time going through that. Um, when I highlight an item with the mouse, when I hover over the item with the mouse cursor, then by all means pause so you can just carefully examine it. As right now, when I switch gears, this is how my statistics actually look in terms of my strength, magic, dexterity, vitality, base and now, and the life and mana. Alongside the all resist, as you can see here, the armor class to hit percentage of damage and the damage from enemies. The difference, well, I would say that they're virtually identical, but at the same time, I won't be lying to you. Let's make our way down to level 23. 23, man. Alright. I have no idea what kind of troubles await us in level 23, but it's always best to be ready. in some cases more than others we notice may not necessarily be there right away, but those really rare drops I've been looking for they'll come around it just takes patience and dedication to the craft of playing the game Okay, there we go. That's pretty decent. We'll get away from that. Shout out to Mordor. As you can see, I'm still working on this playthrough, and I still haven't given up on it yet, so continue watching. I'm really hoping that during this run, I can make my way against um, Uber Diablo. And it looks like I only have about 50k, somewhere around like 40k more experience to go before. I level up to level 25, so I'm looking forward to that. This way I can put all my experience points, I mean, put all my bonus um, attribute points to vitality. And a book of charged bolt, I can learn it still. Why not just level up the spell? Although the chances of me actually using that are highly unlikely. The cast speed of the paladin is nowhere near the cast speed of the mage. And 
And that's what makes different classes unique in this game. There are only certain things that a paladin can do that mages can't, and some things that mages can do that paladins can't, so... It's... It's fair. And if the system... It works... I say it's fair given certain times, but there are other times where it may not be fair, but variety is really the best spice when it comes to games like these. And it's all the more reason why I continue to enjoy Diablo Hell mod, because the variety is there, it's clear, it's as it clear as day that it's there. Any second now. More like any minute, but okay. Oh, weak against fire, are you? shows that they're weak against magic, lightning, but if fire's not included in their immunities, I'm already going to... I'm already going to impose that they're weak against fire. Oh gosh, don't... I need to stand right in front of them. Come on, come and get it. So apparently I'm encountering the boss here. Let me fury up. I couldn't tell because the blood horn was in the way. I couldn't exactly tell how much health he had. But I was a boss, definitely. second stack if you can as you can see. I'm pretty close to 8k on the second stack. And we got a relative here, town portal. I'm gonna leave that right there. Did he open the door yet? Not yet. They're going to though. Yes! Level up! Vitality. Okay, <laughs> that was awesome. No, I definitely have a lot more vitality. Those five points will really make a difference. I think it went from 220 something to like 250, 245. Okay, so it's 245. If I switch gears slightly, the only thing that really changes is my mana and my all resist. Everything else is just fine. And it looks like everything right now is still going pretty good. Not sure exactly what this entails yet, as far as level 24 will go. Yes. Everything else just seems to run smoothly. During the first time I was in Crypt, and then suddenly, level 24, there was this sudden difficulty ramp, and my character just couldn't take level 24. So, all the more reason why I'm doing a, a rerun, so to speak, of the Crypt, 
So right now I have the shrine right in front of me and I'm going to save again just to make sure before I access the shrine. It was once open is now closed. Alright, pretty much all the treasure chests that I've opened previously as well as any sarcophagi, they are now closed again. I'll take that potion of mana. And what is that? Flash. Yeah, I'm a paladin. I don't think I'm gonna need flash. Well, that's cool. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. So we still have trouble down there. I believe in the south, southern eastern part of the map. No. Aside from that, there's really not much else. Got this topaz here. Could easily just go to town and sell it. But I'm not gonna bother. Ooh, blacksmith oil. What about that? Oh crap. That's bad. Yeah, that's yeah, that's bad. Let's uh get to this doorway. Am I dead? Okay, I'm not dead. I'm so close to dying, though. I need to get away from the boss guy. He deals more damage than these guys. Yeah, I just might have to resort to use my potions. But this black death will die soon. Yeah, you died. Black death, if I recall correctly, that's what the plague was referred to as. Black death. I could be wrong, feel free to correct me. But uh, right now, everything seems to be going pretty well. I'm trying to balance out the amount of uh, healing potions versus the amount of mana potions I have. That battle hammer? Let's check it out. Okay, so the requirements are not met. That's that's why it's closed red like that. And it seems that there are definitely a lot of urns here. Let's go ahead and save. Let me pop these open. More often than not, the urns will be traps, and the others will have like gold in them, and some others will have monsters. Same with the sarcophagi. Well, yeah, just about anything can have traps in it. Especially in this game, an arrow will literally shoot from the chest and like hit you so many times, you die by just that arrow shot. Bolt again. I can definitely read that. Let's just. Alright, so the spell level is now at level. What? Level 6? Okay. I noticed that um, there's a required level 
for those items that you, and for those uh, little spell books you read. You have to be at a certain level now. Ha! You miss me. But that didn't miss me. Okay. Alright, they're so good. Murky pool again. Honestly, I don't think I ever get excited about a murky pool as I do now, given that they, uh... I'm not sure if it's a random spell buff or it's just guaranteed to be, uh, in provision. We'll check it out. Yep, it's... looks like it's guaranteed in provision. But I still have this doorway that I can use to my advantage against huge mobs. Now, just, okay. Kill that guy. Show him who's boss. But, uh, let's see. Switch. I always gotta switch. Let's see what we got here. Nothing much. Looks like it. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Oh, here we go. Looks like that's Garb of the Week. But we got some minions here. Oh. I can keep doing this. It's like whack-a-mole right now. It's like I... Yeah, it's kind of like that moment with whack-a-mole. That's what was happening right there. So we got... That was that. No, that's not Garb out the week. Doesn't look like him at all. It's just... A goat man was just waiting at the door for me to open it. And surprise me. No. Okay, we're not gonna do it then. Yeah, deal with you. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Doorway time. <laughs> so right now, everything's still going pretty good. Ghost main? My ghost main is okay. Can I beat him before he kills me? Yes, I can. It's been proven. Save, just save, and I need to repair my gear before it gets really bad. So I'm gonna go to town and repair my gear. I need to actually use these relics anyway. Save again, and just go. Oh, the advantage of monsters not being able to see you. <laughs> you just leave. And I can identify these items, so that works pretty well for me too. We got a severe club here. 
What's that percentage damage? That's not bad. Ring of the Snake. That's good for mage. I mean, just think about it. Being able to stack up so much mana and using Great mana things. shield. Wisdom is nice. Alright, we're good. Wait, wait for it. I'm gonna sell Topaz. Hello, Forgot. Good friend. How much does Topaz sell for? Alright. Looks like that's a decent grand right there into the stash. Gold working on that second stat. Let's go back in. And let's see what we got here. Potion of mana. No. A small axe here. What is that? Not sure what it is, but it's a nice unique. Holy water! We rarely come across that in this game. Unless you either buy it from Pepin or you get it from still pretty rare. I wonder if they'll have that funny in Doom Mode. I'm only kidding, I know they have it in Doom Mode. Like, I played Doom Mode plenty of times with, like, my really old characters. Oh, gosh. I survived, so I guess it's worth the gold. Jeez. Convenient. It's like a giant circle. Uh, I got a tunic here. Got plenty of whites dropping. Yeah, since this is not Diablo 3. And it's a much improved version of the original Diablo. It would be... I mean, I'm thinking that the white... That the white drops are like troll oh. drops because they're really useless in this game. done and it would seem that oh that's not right okay there we go much better so we got this unique small axe here Feel like doing? Feel like doing this. As soon as I get the opportunity to, and click on that, portal time. Paladins are not really, not really the best with access. So, if anything, this would be good for a gladiator. Hello, my friend. You got a wicked axe. It's wicked. Let's see. Man, despite the kicker, my S13 armor class. It's a pretty decent weapon. Base damage, 5 to 55. I would say that's pretty unusual for level 1, but I could be wrong about that. Let's go back in, kick some more butt. And pick up these items here. What was that? Thick leather armor. Useless. And... Alright. It looks like I found the way to level 24. Random cloak here. Heh. <laughs> 
Let's check and see what goes on in this door. Spell level 5 or 4 or what? That must be its max level then. Oh, wait. What I meant to say is the required level was 4 at the time. So, wait, was it? I'll review it over the video. I have myself a little confused there. I need to stop doing that. Oh my gosh. They're waiting for me to go in there. Okay, we just beat up a ton of guys there. Yeah, it's gonna be roughly about... <laughs> Jeez. I would even dare say a million more experience to go. Uh, be kind to myself, I would say about 800k more experience to go. Can I learn any more healing? That's a question. Yes, looks like I can. And it looks like it requires a 4 level, but what's my healing spell level right now? 3? So if I read this, it's a level 4. Not bad. And the healing potential is also pretty good. At max, it's nice. Crap. What else we have here? Oh, that's just TK. I don't really care too much for TK. Yeah, they both almost killed me. Looks like another full clear has been set in motion for level 23, unless there are any monsters I've missed, and I strongly doubt that I've missed any. Now this chest here, I'm not sure exactly what it contains. Nothing. It contains nothing. So, we end that off on a note of a chest that contained nothing. Shame. but. It is what it is, and sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. So that will be the end of level 23, and that will also be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, I sincerely thank you all for your time. 
Until we meet again in the next video, this is Counter Baron signing off saying, take good care of yourselves out there. Stay strong, stay safe, stay healthy. Have a good one.